Hey fellow themers, welcome back. In the following video, I am going to give you an overview of the typography section in the style area with your flow themes settings area. So if you're in flow themes style, you will see there is a typography area and this will basically allow you to update the typography for all the different elements on your site. These are the style options. So by that, we mean you can set up different styles and use them in different locations on the site, allowing you to create a more unique look for your website. And you are able to, of course, upload your own fonts, use Google fonts here as well. And it's a really simple and easy way to go ahead and start updating your site. Now, whenever you're in this section, you can edit any font. So here you will have a descriptive title and then, of course, if you want to edit that font, you can go ahead and click the pencil. And then with that, you can rename these if needs be for yourself. You can choose the font family and that will be all the current fonts that are available that you have selected. If you add additional fonts, Google fonts or custom fonts, they will also show up here. If you choose a different font, you will see that it changes. You get a live view over here on the right. You can choose the font sizing, the mobile font sizing as well. So if you want to see the mobile view, you can see that here. You will also have letter spacing, word spacing, and of course, line height as well. So that would be the options for any font. And you can also do some specific options here on the, at the right hand side. You could bold the font, make it italic or underline it. And you can also set it as all caps, uh, regular case or all lowercase as well. You do have two more options here for specific uh, types of states. And by state, I mean uh, hover, for example. So if someone hovers over a specific piece of text, you can use a custom style and set that up as well. Or active, so maybe in the menu, whenever someone has clicked on the page and it's the active page, you could set up a different color for your navigation menu item so that people are aware that they're on that. Or if someone has clicked on a link, that would also be the active style. So again, you could set up a specific style for that, maybe change the color, uh, the, make it italic or underlined. Again, pretty advanced options. Um, most people won't use that, but it is possible to use. Now, to save it, you just hit the X area up at the top hand corner and then just hit update and that will update the fonts for the site. Now you have lots of options throughout this area and of course you can update all of these and whenever you're using them for your different uh, sections on pages. So for example, if I go to a page, I'll quickly show you how you can use them. And remember these are styles, they're not uh, actual HTML elements where it's uh, where you see here H1, H2, H3. Uh, if you select an H2 block, it will not mean that it is actually H2. Uh, it just means it has the style of H2 whenever you choose in a block. The page blocks are set up in a specific way to be SEO friendly so that whenever you are choosing the uh, fonts and the filling out the different sections, they're going to be built with the correct hierarchy. Now, if we go into a page and we go and come down to uh, the layout section, if you're inside any block, you will see the largest part of them have the option to choose the fonts. And these are the font styles that you have just set up. And again, you can choose any of these and it won't change the HTML as I mentioned, merely the style. Uh, as mentioned before, you can set up your own custom font options also and apply them to different blocks if you need and just choose the specific style that you would like. And of course, do that with any elements on the site. So really simple and easy way to uh, add styles and update fonts on the site. Now, of course, if you wanted to add more fonts, you have two options, Google fonts and custom fonts. With Google fonts, you can add any Google font to the site. So click the add of Google font option, edit this, choose from any of the available Google fonts. There are literally hundreds. So let's say Open Sans, for example, you can go to Open Sans, choose that font, and then you can choose the uh, actual settings for that as well. So Open Sans, so you can choose that font. And then in the font style section, whenever you are 
going back through your fonts, you can actually choose that font and then set up the sizing, letter spacing, and all the different elements for that as well. So really simple way to choose Google Fonts. If you wanted to filter the specific fonts, so maybe you know that you want a serif font uh, or a sans serif, you can filter those as well. Handwriting and display types uh, down here at the bottom. If you're not sure about Google Fonts, you can go on to Google's website for fonts and actually filter through the different styles and they should all be available to you here as well. So if there are users that need specific font styles, maybe left to right uh, style fonts, you maybe have specific characters that you need to add to your font, you can check Google for those specific fonts or of course upload a custom font for those as well so that you can have all the specific characters for your language. Lastly, we have custom fonts. And again, if you want to add a font, you can add a TTF or a WFF file and you can add pretty much any web ready font as required. So if you take your font, you can drag and drop it in off the desktop. So if I go and find a font, so for example, I have this uh, Butler regular font, I can just drag and drop that in here. And because this is a TTF file, it will then have the font. Then I can use multiple font styles. So if I add WAF and TTF, it allows more options for different browsers and it is recommended to do that. Now when we go to font styles again, I can go ahead and choose this new font and of course get the preview for that. So that's it folks, really simple ways to create and update styles for your fonts on the site, how you can use Google fonts and how you can add custom fonts to your site. And again, it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility to extend the style of your site, make it more brandable and more customizable to your needs. So go ahead guys, update the fonts if you need to, add any custom fonts or use Google fonts and really make your site unique.